If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. Today I am going to give you a very interesting shortcut method or a shortcut tip to find the derivative of the um, composite functions uh, composite functions that can be found by the chain rule but they can also be found by another method that is shortcut as compared to the chain rule so let's find by taking multiple examples that how you can quickly find the derivative of the composite functions by using the chain rule so we have an example that is y is equal to i am taking the simplest example first that is x square minus 3x plus 5 whole cube so this is a composite function okay so as first function is this and the second function is this including the cube so how you can solve it quickly by using the uh, the shortcut method so the shortcut method is you have to write like dy by dx that is the derivative of the given function as d by dx of the given function is x square minus 3x plus 5 whole cube so the first thing that you have to do quickly is just move the power on the side as you do in the in, uh, in the power rule as you have to write 3 here you are, you are going to bring this 3 here so 3 is here and then write the function as it is the given function as it is and subtract 1 from the power as in case of uh, in case of power rule so 3 minus 1 is 2 what you have to do next is take the derivative of this function without power that is x square minus 3x plus 5 then what you will get first i'll write it as it is 3x square minus 3x plus 5 whole square now the derivative of this function will be derivative of x square is 2x again by using the power rule minus 3x is 3 and the and derivative of 5 is 0 so i'll not write that so this is the derivative of the given function just two steps away you need to do just two steps to find the derivative of the given composite function while by using chain rule you have to take you have to uh, do the substitution and then you have to uh, find the derivative and it's uh, and that is time taking but in this case you need no, not to uh, not to waste your time and just find this derivative quickly let's have one more example if i take the example of square root function i'll write here as y is equals to under root 5x minus 8 now this function is also composite function and you need to find its derivative by chain rule if you don't have the shortcut. So the shortcut is just quickly write as d by dx of under root 5x minus 8 d by dx of just uh, write the square root in the form as 1 by 2 as square root is equal to 1 by 2. Now move the power on the side as I have, uh, I have done in the first example 1 by 2 came here write the given function as it is and subtract 1 from the power 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2 and then take derivative of the function that is inside the bracket 5x minus 8 that you just solve it as 1 by 2 under root as there is a minus 1 by 2 so i take it in the denominator so 5x minus 8 and the derivative of 5x minus 8 is uh, we have to find the derivative of this so 5x derivative is 5 and the derivative of 8 is 0. So we have got the derivative of given function 5 over 2 under root 5x minus 8. So this is the derivative of the given function by using the shortcut rule. So no need to apply the chain, the long method of chain rule to find its derivative. Let's have one more example. So after the two first two examples in which we have seen a simple function and a radical function where you came across a square root, we, we move towards example number 3. Where we came across the, if we came across the trigonometric function in the composite form, where you have to use the chain rule to find the derivative, how you can use, how you can find its derivative in a shortcut form. Let's have an example. Y is equals to tan of x square. This is a composite function. Let's see how you can find its derivative rather than using a chain rule, or, um, a chain rule method of derivatives. That is a time taking method. You can find its derivative in a shortcut form. Let's see. dy by dx is equals to d by dx of the given function that is tan of x square of tan of x square. Now keep this in my mind that here we have the square of x, not the square of tan. There is a difference between tan x square and tan square x. So currently, let's see how you can find the derivative of tan x square. I will also tell you how you can find the derivative of tan square x. 
So let's find its derivative in a shortcut way. It will be as tan x square. It means you have to first find the derivative of tan x square and then you have to find the derivative of this x square only. So the derivative of tan x square is secant square of x square. Why? As the, as the derivative of tan of x is secant square x. And so the derivative of tan of x square will be secant square of x square. Keep this in mind. As you know that derivative of tan of x is equals to secant square of x. So if we take tan of x square, it will become secant square of x square. But not only this derivative, you have to add something more. Let's see. Now secant square of x square, then what you have to do, we are using a shortcut method. You have to find the derivative of this x square only. So what you will get dy by dx is equals to secant square of x square as the derivative of x square by using the power rule will be you have to move the 2 on the side and subtract 1 from the power it will become 2x. So this is the derivative of the given function. In the simplest way or the easiest way to find the derivative or the shortcut way rather than using the chain. Let's have one more example. If you came across the function like y is equals to tan square of x then how you will find its derivative. Now keep this in mind that these two functions are different. But both of these functions are composite. So let's find its derivative as dy by dx is equals to d by dx of the given function that is tan square of x. Now keep this in mind that tan square of x means the square of the whole function. While tan x square means the square of only x. So we can also write this given function as d by dx of tan x whole square. Now you will come to know, now you will be able to understand its difference, how they differ from it. So it means we have to apply the power rule here just to move the 2 on the side as 2 and write the given function as it is, subtract 1 from the power, uh, so 2 minus 1 and take the derivative of the whole function that is t by t dx of tan of x. So it will be like 2 tan of x subtracting 2 uh, uh, 1 from 2 it will be 1 so I will not write the 1 and derivative of tan x will be as I have already written it secant square x. So it will become secant square x. So that's it. This is how you can find the derivative of the trigonometric function in composite form so that you need not to apply the chain rule. Just find it in a short. Let's have so let's have the example for of exponential functions. Like how you can find the derivative of the exponential functions in composite form rather than using the chain rule. So we have take we have to take an exponential function in composite form. The example is y is equals to x square plus e raised to power x square whole cube. Now you have to solve this function by using the uh, chain rule as according to the rules of derivatives. Now how you can find its derivative in the shortcut manner let's find it quickly. So we can find its derivative as dy by dx of the given function d by dx x square plus e raised to power x square whole cube. The step one is you just need to apply the power rule on the whole function. As you have to move the 3 on the side 3 will come here and subtract 1 from its power and write the given function as it. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Now take the derivative of the function inside the bracket. That is x square plus e raised to power x square. Then you can find its derivative as x square plus e raised to power x square whole square. So the derivative of this x square will be 2x using the power rule plus the derivative of e raised to power x square. Now how you can find its derivative? It's also a, a composite function. So you can find its derivative as, but as you know, the derivative of e raised to power x is e raised to power x. But if you came across e raised to power x square, then its derivative will be e raised to power x square dot 2x. How? Let's so e raised to power x square derivative will be e raised to power x square as it is then you have to take the derivative of its power as well. Okay, keep this in mind. So we will write its derivative as x squared plus e raised to power x squared whole square and 2x plus e raised to power x squared and the derivative of x squared will be 2x. So this is how you can find the derivative of the functions 
involving the exponent exponential functions uh, of the base e by using the shortcut key. So let so you have seen how quickly we have find the derivative by using the shortcut instead of using the chain rule of uh, rule that is a uh, time taking out. So you can simplify this function further as well. So by using this technique you can find the derivative of any function that is in composite form um, uh, instead of using the chain rule. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.